Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about The Other Woman and this movie came out in 2009 and stars Natalie Portman and this is not to be confused with the 2014 film that I've never seen before and I've only heard bad things about but this one is the one with Natalie Portman in it and this I have some mixed feelings on and it's not the type of film where it's like oh mixed feelings I was like there's some things that I like some things that I didn't like and it was kind of bland but there's stuff that I really don't like some stuff that I really love and the rest is in between and I'm kind of torn on it and to start off the story I like it in concept and I like uh, quite a few of the ideas for the film and conceptually uh, I uh, think this movie is really good and I love uh, what it's trying to go for and you can always see what they're going for in this film. And that's uh, where it starts to get frustrating for me because the way it's presented and handled versus what they could have done with it are like two separate things. And when it comes to how it's handled in the film, it's hit or miss, sadly. And... Natalie Portman in this movie, I thought she was good, and as a stepmother, she is like a, not the best, but it's a bit forgivable in this movie because it's shown very clearly that the character doesn't really know what she's doing very much, and she just talks to the kid like a any other person and takes her frustrations out on like everyone including the little kid and it makes sense for the character to do that in the context of the movie so at least there's that and there's some really powerful moments in this movie that I thought were very effective especially in the third act and throughout the film there's moments that worked for me and those are the best parts of the movie when it's just developing the story and like showing you what happened before and that's when this movie is at its best for me and where this movie kind of drags is when it's not that well not all the time but it just feels like it's just kind of wasting time and it doesn't really give you much of what you're probably looking for in a movie like this because the way uh, some of the information in this movie is handled is very clunky. Like there's a flashback uh, sequence where we see our main character like uh, getting to know like uh, the, her uh, now husband of the movie and uh, how those two met and he was like married and then uh, cheated on his wife and uh, fell for Natalie Portman's character and... Uh, the way that information was handled was horrible. Like, it was horribly edited together. I didn't feel as though anything was really developed between the two. And for the longest time, I didn't really get what anyone liked about anyone. <laughs> and that's one of my biggest criticisms, is that it doesn't really give you the proper information properly, <laughs> if that makes sense. Because it's kind of all over the place. And for a while, all of the characters in this movie are, like, very unlikable. But as the movie develops them out, you start to get behind them. And by the end of the film, I like the characters. And they've very clearly been through a lot. And there's good performances in this movie. And that's uh, what helps it, except for the child actor. I found him to be kind of annoying. And that also had to do with how the character was written, like the dialogue given to him. I just heard the writer whenever he was talking because he just talked like an adult. I never once believed that he was talking like a kid. I did feel as though this movie was too long. This movie is two hours long and I felt as though about 15 to 20 minutes could have been trimmed because honestly, I felt... Uh, the pacing of the movie and this movie is kind of slow and there were points where I definitely felt it and there were very clearly scenes that for me personally just could have been cut out and there were some editing choices that like 
almost ruined like key moments in this film. I just found it, found it to be like amateurish <laughs> the way it was put together and I just couldn't get behind it and overall I didn't regret watching this movie. I felt as though I got something unique out of it but by the end of the day it was like okay <laughs> like it's just frustrating to sit through because you can see a great movie in here. It's just not put together as well as it should be. Like, it's too long. There's some editing choices that needed to be improved on. And, like, information uh, should have been presented a lot better. Like, those things that needed to be improved upon. But, unfortunately, we didn't get that movie. We got this, and it's watchable i guess if you want to check it out then go right ahead it's not a bad movie it's just not what it should be and it was kind of disappointing and not that i had like high expectations for this movie my expectations were kind of low for this movie but surprisingly enough i didn't hate it it was just me wishing that it was better <laughs> Like, I did not expect myself to be this disappointed, <laughs> like, after watching a movie that I had low expectations for. Because, in a way, it, this movie surpassed my expectations, but sadly it didn't live up to a great film, which is what I really would have liked. So, if this movie looks interesting to you, then check it out. If not, then skip it. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Honestly, there's better choices you can make when it comes to like watching a movie or something like this. I'm sure there are plenty, but I, I'm just not thinking of any right now. So not great, not terrible, just in the middle. And it was something that I did not regret watching. I'll, I'll give it that. And with all that being said, I'm going to give The Other Woman a 5 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought of the other women and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation and I'll see you when I get my next review up and that is going to be for Cube. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.